Yeah. Oh my god, I feel like What is up guys? Another BMX video out here. Special one though, this is an electric BMX conversion kit. We did this conversion kit on my mountain bike not that long ago, I'd say probably like six months ago when it was nice and winter and icy. If you guys wanna check that video out, the link will be in the description below. But this is the same exact Paradox Kinetics setup that I took off my mountain bike, popped on the BMX. Now Paradox Kinetics is a mid-drive motor setup that you can put on basically any bike. And that's kind of what we titled it as before on the mountain bike and we're doing here in the BMX. Just to prove that we can put on any bike. Now let me show you how it works. All right, so this is gonna be your drive gear. Behind this guy right here, there is a cog. That cog goes into the motor and that motor is what makes this mid-drive section run. So when you're not pedaling, you can use the throttle to be able to get this going. And man, it goes really fast, but we don't have any brakes on it. so. That will suck. At the end of the day, there's very, very minimal clearance with this. As you can see there, it is very close to the crank arm. Everything with this is absolutely precise. Now this mid-drive motor can be angled to different sections. We have it at the highest point right here. I did run into logs with this before on the mountain bike, so I know it can take a beating, so quite possibly we might have to take it on the rail. Big shout out to Costa of Paradox Kinetics for taking my frame and actually doing a press fit bearing setup that's specialized for this frame. So this frame is actually a cracked layered frame I've had for about three years. So I wanted to look for the perfect opportunity to be able to use this bike and no better opportunity. We have the battery down there that's perfectly mounted. You had another opportunity too with Paradox Kinetics to wear a battery on you. I don't want to do that. So I think it looks really good there. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a taste first. I do want to say that we did have to do a repair on this uh, because we originally tried to come out here and film and I didn't know that you can't go from like 100 to zero, which is stopping the wheel and end up breaking the gearing system inside of it. So we got that all repaired. Let me show you how fast this thing goes. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> Things are gonna get insane. All right, so like I said earlier, we have no brakes on this, but we got a thumb throttle. Check this guy out. So the thumb throttle actually blinks and it'll let you know how many bars you are right there. And we're at four. So this bad boy is uh, gonna be pretty dangerous. We're gonna put brakes on here pretty soon, but figure we might as well get our first ride in and this will be our, our electric BMX we take everywhere. Before we go any further, I want to talk about today's video sponsor. This video would not be possible if it was not for Phantom Wallet sponsoring today's video. Hence the name, fans open all your cards. Really adorable design. This one's the aluminum one. They also offer it in plastic. All the accessories screw on, as you see there. All these little screw holes. Right now I'm running silicone band. I usually run the money clip because it gives you a lot of color accessories. They also offer a clear plastic front for holding IDs, as well as fanning out your keys. I'll display them here on the screen. If you're interested in any of these products, especially their newest one, it's gonna be coming out really soon with MagSafe technology, be able to connect it to your iPhone. Click the link in the description below. Use Feedy10 at checkout, and big shout out to Phantom Wall for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to it. <laughs> a little throttle. That's sick, bro. That's really sick. Yo, someone asked you to ride. Uh, someone asked to ride your bike. Your answer? Not this one. <laughs> it's yeah. fast, Just because bro. I know, because you have to know how to use the uh, throttle throttle motor. Yeah, this can this can really f up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you hit it too fast. You yeah, like if you're like manually, you're trying to loop out. You can just go yeah. straight to your back. Oh yeah. Smash your head in. This thing rips. Kind of scared to take it down there, but let's go. Ah! Oh my god, dude. Dude! We need a shot from up top. I don't think it's gonna translate it from the chest count how fast you're actually going. Oh my gosh. You're flying, guys. I mean, this is, I need more PSI. I'm just rolling the tire off the rim. Are like, going fast? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. 
Oh my god, I feel the keys on that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, dude, that's ridiculous. This is yeah. insane. Here, listen guys, see if you can hear it. That's the motor working. That thing is insane how much torque this thing has. So, give you guys a breakdown of what my setup is with this motor. So, obviously you already know this is a Paradox Kinetics mid-drive motor. But I have a Profile Z coaster on the back that I thought would engage and become a coaster, but that's not the case at all. Because when you go to backpedal on this, the sprocket isn't backpedaling. There's actually a freewheel built into this. Which means you can't get the coaster to engage into a regular coaster. So, we're stuck in cassette form. So I have an Alienation 138 tire in the back, Alienation Prowler tire in the front. This is the 2.4. Boy, it's fat. Um, profile racing stem, snafu bars, layered frame, snafu seat. Basically all my older parts. It's still pretty dodd bike. What's the chance that you can whip that? I'm gonna try, that's cool. Let me do a bar fly out real quick. Dude! Oh, God. I tapped the throttle all the way back, somehow it's arrived. Whoop! All right, let's get a let's get a speed shot. Oh my God! Go back in. Nice. All right, so I don't have any pegs on this beast. I'm just slacking today. So I do have my micro pegs. So when I first started doing grinds on 3 8 I ended up putting on these little micro pegs, which are just uh, adapters that allow a 3 8 wheel fit into a 14 millimeter axle, but also gave you that like peg feel. So these are gonna be my pegs for the day. We're gonna do feeble grind only on the left side, uh, just because I don't wanna risk slipping off this and messing up this gear piece. But I do wanna try to do a motor grind, I guess. Yeah, it's called a motor grind. Motor grind on the rail after we get this. Oh, you good, buddy? I got you. I got you. You straight. I got you, bro. You're good. Yeah, you just need a little more speed. You yeah. can make it. Thank you. Yeah. That's ridiculous, dude. That's the what? That's crazy. I'm just gonna let you know you probably can go way faster, but. Dang, I'll try the Do you really think you can? <laughs> Not bad. All right, so let's go eye this up real quick. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, see if he can even grind on the motor. That's gonna be more like a crank arm grind for you. Right there. This is the goal, guys. <laughs> Possible? Yeah. I think so. Two tries. Dude, he's cooking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> he's speechless. <laughs> no, dude. I need to do it again. Yeah. I need to do it again. That was amazing. Right there's the grindage. That, dude, I'm... <laughs> I'm speechless. Speechless mode.
All right, Matt's over here trying to convince me to do that same bottom bracket motor grind down the rail. And what a lot of people don't understand is it's a whole different animal to take on. So back in the day, I used to do this thing called a duster grind. And duster grind is where you grind on the bottom bracket only. And uh, when you're grinding like I was on the rail, this is how you are, right? When I'm on a flat rail like this, I'm easily able to keep my balance. But then when you start to go down, right, your balance process is way different. So you lean back, night, night. You lean forward, night, night. Or I'm catching that. You have to be like perfectly aligned. I'm not making up excuses. I'm just saying it's not gonna be in this video. I'm gonna get used to this. I'm gonna get a break on this bad boy so we can really do some sick maneuvers. So yeah, let's just get to the tail whip. Let's just get it done. We're gonna do a whip fly. We're gonna get used to the weight of it. And then uh, I can't wait to take this thing to the trails, man. Big tail whips. <laughs> All right, let's go get it. Oh, thanks, man. Hey, Matt, this is for you. Don't even make me, dude. Eat your heart out. I was saying it's absolutely insane. I cannot believe we didn't do this before. Uh, Matt's gonna try a couple crank clips. He hasn't ridden this thing. I'm kind of uh, a little leery of letting anyone ride it because it is pretty dangerous right now with having no brake. I need a bigger gear on the rear to have high-end quick torque. Right now is a 28.9, so I'm thinking I need like a 13 tooth or a 16 tooth free wheel to be on the back to just be ramp right away. <laughs> Talking about a slingshot. <laughs> All right guys, gonna do it for today's video featuring the Paradox Kinetics motor, the mid-drive motor on a BMX. Pretty sure it's like the first one ever done. And we're gonna call it the first one ever done because I don't see any other people doing eBMXs on YouTube. So with that being said, if you guys have any suggestions for future videos, eBMX, e-mountain bike, any type of BMX or bike riding related video, Put them in the comments below. If you guys like this video, drop a like. If you love it, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one.